And we are live here at Freed Harmony University for another edition of Lady Lions basketball here on the FHU Sports Network. I'm Michael Mullenix along here with Lady Lions basketball coach, Coach Joshua Epperson. Coach, uh, been the first game we've actually got to interview with you since the November 20th game against Lindsey Wilson. And since then, we have gotten been able to get four wins out of the six games that we played. One of those wins coming against the University of North Alabama Division I opponent in the, I believe, the um, the Atlantic Sun Conference in Division I. Uh, your thoughts on being able to knock off a Division I team uh, in second year as a head coach here? Yeah, it's, a, it's always nice for our program. Uh, everyone that knows Freed Hartman basketball knows the quality of the program, knows that we can compete with anybody anywhere. Uh, but once again, just shows that again for our girls, kind of shows the direction that our program has been and is continuing to go as well. So, uh, but, you know, it just shows where our defense is at and our offense as far as taking care of the ball. And uh, girls did a good job. We're focused and really team-oriented that game and did a great job executing to get the win. The game before that, November 27th, y'all played Br Russia, Russia College. And in that game, Alyssa LeMay was able to get her 1,000 point here as a lady line. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, the thing about Alyssa that's great and we love in practice is she's a competitor. She wants to compete. I don't care if you're playing horseshoes or if you're playing – you know, for $1,000, for it didn't matter what it was, she's going to compete uh, at the same level. And that's the thing that you love about her. And that's why she's achieved such a goal at such a prestigious program. The next two games uh, were two conference games uh, where it was a – both, both great battles in, in those games yeah. against number one Campbellsville and Georgetown, who's receiving votes. Unable to come up with a win, but it was just strong performance. Your thoughts on that going into the rest of the season? Yeah, Campbellsville, we, we fought hard, played well. Um, you know, the, the one thing we got to work on consistently now is having the inside out attack. Our inside attack in those two games really went well. Um, we did a good job inside in the paint, something we did not do as well against Campbellsville last year. We handled the press really well, had eight turnovers. Anybody that saw us last year against Campbellsville know. We did not just have eight turnovers last year. So huge improvements there, but we only shot 19% from three. Georgetown, kind of the same thing. We did well inside, but did not make a single three-point. I think we were 0 for 10 in that game. So you got to be able to have a little outside threat in order to help. Uh, and so that's something, obviously, we, we got in the gym. We've been shooting, and we've played a little better since then. And then that, how, how, again, does that play a strategy in the game today against Life University, who same conference record, right. overall record, a little bit. Uh, different, but yeah. again, same conference record. You know, they, they would do a very good job in the half court. They're going to make you work for shots. And we talked about that today that, you know, we've got to work for the shots we want, not the shots that they want us to get, but the shots that we want to get. And then uh, the vice versa is true as well. Don't let them have the shots early that they want to get. Make sure we take those away. They've got a really good shooter, number one. we got to take it away. They have a really good inside game, too. So uh, it'll be a big, in some ways, they match up a lot really well to us because they have such good height in size to go match up against our height as well. So every year, uh, beginning of the course, before Christmas, you get to see the anticipation of some of these new players. And there's two I want to talk to you about today. Sure. First one being Kaylee Odom. She is on the team third in points. She is third in overall block. She is first in field goal percentage and second in free throw percentage on the team. Your thoughts on how Kaylee Odom has impacted the season so far? Well, Kaylee's done a great job. You know, it's, it's her role it changes a little bit based on what's happened with Caroline. You know, Caroline Chambers had a little bit of an injury and things like that, so she had to come in and play a little bit bigger role there for a while and really embraced it, did some good things for us, and, and now really has helped us a lot to give us depth there and then also be able to come on the floor and help us in a big way. So we're excited. Uh, anytime a freshman comes in there, plays a minute, she has, and is productive. It's, it's huge for us in the future. And with the second new person we want to talk to you about, Kenley Varnell. Kenley, I believe fourth in points on your on the Lady Lions team, third in rebounds, and she was she's second in overall blocks, third in field goal percentage. Uh, your thoughts on how Kenley Varnell has made an impact on the year? Kenley is just uh, a go getter from uh, day one. You know she's going to be that one that's always in the gym, but also it shows. As far as if there's a loose ball, you know she's going to be flying to get it. And that's why she does so well on the rebound. She does well in every area just because if the ball's around, she's going to be at the right spot. She's going to be there. There's a really knack for when people look away from her, her cutting to the basket. She has a lot of easy ones just because people look away and then forget about her. And going up against live today, uh, there are two, two of their – Top three scores: Morgan Collins and Lanice Santiago uh, will be starting for them. Uh, your thoughts on 
uh, what the strategy is against guarding them in today's game? You know, a big thing for us today is they set a lot of ball screens uh, with their size inside. Our big thing today is we need to stay. We usually switch a lot. You're going to see us stay a little more than normal because we don't want to have those mismatches inside. Now, they are not a great three-point shooting team, so you see us, well, we might go underneath some more ball screens than normal to try to give them that outside shot off the dribble, but making sure they don't get anything inside. So that's kind of a strategy we'll be using today to keep them on the perimeter and to make sure we eliminate the inside shots. All right, Coach. Well, thank you for the interview today. Uh, is there anything you want to say to the fans that are watching from home, all the student section that is unfortunately on Christmas break now, anything you want to say to anyone that is watching the live stream here today? Well, hopefully people have enjoyed the first kind of half of the season going into Christmas break as we continue to build. As we always talk about, upward trajectory is the big thing, making sure that our trajectory is going up. Uh, as we know, sometimes the season's going to be roller coasters. You don't want to be going on the down cycle. You want to be going up. And so hopefully people have enjoyed the first part. Continue to watch us as we really get into conference play. It'll be exciting times coming up. I know our next home game after this will be at Bethel or against Bethel. Uh, we play UTC, uh, University of Tennessee Southern before that, but that's on the road. So just hopefully people come back, watch the Bethel game as well when we're back at home. All right, well, thank you, Coach. And we'll take a time out here, and we'll be back here with Lady Lions basketball here on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we're back here on the FHG Sports Network. Let's go down to the floor for our invocation, national anthem, and starting lineups for tonight's game. Fans, at this time, we ask that you hope everyone enjoy tonight's contest by being a true champion of character. By displaying respect and good sportsmanship, you can help create a positive environment for tonight's teams, officials, and fans. At this time, we ask that you please rise and gentlemen remove your hats for our prayer, followed by the playing of our country's national anthem. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bless us with each day. Father, we're thankful for this game that we were able to come here tonight and enjoy. We ask that you be with both teams participating tonight. We ask that you keep them safe and free from injury and be with the officials and all of us as fans as well. Father, most of all, we're thankful for your son, Jesus, who died on the cross. It's in his name that we pray. Amen.
At center, a 6'2 freshman from Carrollton, Georgia. Number 13, Rachel Wilson. At guard, a 5'9 freshman from Cincinnati, Ohio. Number 15, Sienna Bailey. At guard, a 5'6 senior from Decatur, Georgia. Number 20, Morgan Collins. And at forward, a 5'11 junior from Hendersonville, Tennessee. Number 22, Olivia Dell. Life University is coached by Anna Kowalski. Assistant coaches Nicholas Bizarro and DeAndrea Hawkins. And now get on your feet and make some noise. Here are the starters for your Green Hardman University Lady Lions. At guard, a 5'7 senior from Lyles, Tennessee, number four, Allie Klumpler. At forward, a six foot junior from Santa Rosa, California, number 12, Caroline Chambers. At guard, a 5'9 junior from Baldwin, Arkansas, number 25, Kinley Barnett. Senior from Linden, Tennessee, number 40, Shania Brooks. And at guard, a 5'7 senior from Linden, Tennessee, number 41, Reagan Floyd. And coach for Freed Hartman. And there's your starting lineups for Freed Hartman. It'll be number four, Allie Crumpler, number 12, Caroline Chambers, number 25, Kinley Varnell, number 40, Shania Brooks, and number 41, Reagan Floyd. For life, it'll be number one, Lenise Santiago, number 13, Rachel Wilson, number 15, Sienna Bailey. Number 20, Morgan Collins, and number 22, Olivia Delt. And among the starting five, second and third leading scorers for life are on the floor in Morgan Collins and Lenise Santiago. First leading scorer, Eva Caroline Singleton, uh, is not available for today's game. Rachel Wilson, the leading rebounder. Morgan Collins, the leading assist, the assist leader, as well as the leading steal, leading steal leader. And Olivia Delt leading... All lady running Eagles in field goal percentage and three-point percentage. And we're about ready to tip off here in Henderson. It'll be Chambers on the basket. And it's basketball time in Henderson as Janiah Brooks comes up with an early, almost an early steal right there. Goes over to Crumpler as Lady Lions will look to set something up here. Almost a box set offense here. They give it to Chambers on the inside. Good feed down to Varnell. Varnell couldn't get the shot off. And she's going to go underneath. Pass under to Brooks. Brooks' shot is good. And Shania Brooks gets the Lady Lions on the board here early. As Lady Lions will go straight man to man here. And shot by Santiago is good. And Lady, Lady Running Eagles will go to a press here to start out with as Crumpler gets the ball. As she goes outside to Floyd over to Brooks. Goes out back over to Floyd. Floyd for three. Bang! Floyd for three. Give, it, give the lead back to Freed Hardman. As they'll stay with the 2-3, they try to that same play to Santiago. Good read by Crumpler. And that shot is no good. Rebounded by Life. Picked up by Freed Hardman. She goes over to Floyd. Floyd back into Chambers. Chambers looking. Goes baseline, and that shot no good. Rebounded by Life. That's number 13, Rachel Wilson. And they go with a screen here early as they try that pick and roll. No good. Good block there by Allie Crumpler. And they feed back inside to Wilson. Mismatch against Brooks. That shot is good. And Life will go to a 2-2-1 press here as they feed over to Varnell. Varnell's taking this one in. That shot is no good. Looks like it was tipped off the backboard. So we'll see what Life runs. They're going to run that pick and roll, and Santiago steps back for three. No good. Rebounded by Brooks. And good no-look pass over to Crumpler. Back into Chambers. Chambers, outside shot is good. Lady Lions regain the lead here as Caroline Chambers picks up her first two points of the night. As life will set up, a, looks like a Longhorn set here. They feed inside, no good. Re picked up by Varnell. Good tip away by Chambers. He goes into Crumpler. Crumpler for three. No good off the side, but picked up by Floyd. 
as Coach Everson will call a play. They go will set offense here as they hit, hit Floyd, go inside the chambers. Feedback to Floyd. Floyd drives in, and that floater is good. And Lady Lions get their biggest lead of the night at four now here as we reach the four three-minute mark here. And slips by Sienna Bailey as Collins picks it up. There is now 10 on the shot clock. Five, that shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by Brooks. Brooks takes this one up the court in a hurry. And that one almost stolen away by Collins and they're saying it was tipped off of Brooks. As we're gonna get a sub here early here for life. And that'll be number number 12, Amara Ada. And Life will run a Longhorn set offense here. Try to feed inside, they finally get it in. And they call block on Varnell. That'll be the first one on Varnell. Looks like the first by Freed Hardman. As LeMay checks in and so will Kaylee Odom. Crumpler and Chambers will check back out. They go out to, uh, excuse me, that was uh, Sienna, Sienna Bailey as Life picks it back up. As Life will try to look for good shot here with eight on the shot clock. And Collins' shot is good. They stick with the 2-2-1 press here. They go middle to Varnell. Fade over to Floyd, back over to Brooks. LeMay wheels over to Floyd, over to LeMay. LeMay fades inside to Odom. Odom's shot is no good. Little hard off the, off the square. Freed Hardman nine, life seven as we reach the halfway mark of the first quarter. And we'll see K.J. White check back in here in just a little bit. That shot by Collins is good. That makes four points for Collins here as they go long to LeMay. And now they got an attack here. Odom gets it. Feeds over to Varnell. Varnell takes it back out. Feeds over to Floyd. Goes to Brooks. A little bit of an overload set. Five seconds on the shot clock. Floyd's going to take this one in. That shot by Floyd, no good. Rebounded by Varnell. Good job by Varnell, able to take it back out. Shot clock goes back to 20, now at 15. They go to Floyd. Floyd gets a screen by Brooks. Six on the shot clock. Shot by LeMay. No good. Rebounded by Bailey. Hands off to Collins. That shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by Odom, but they're going to call a foul on Ada off the good box out by Kaylee Odom. And looks like we're going to get our first media timeout of the game. We'll take that with them. We'll be back here in 30 seconds on the FHU Sports Network. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we're 
we're back here live on the FHU Sports Network as we have a tie game here with 3.54 left to go in this game. Want to make a reminder of everyone, this Saturday, December 18th, Freed Hartman Lady Lions were scheduled to have a game against the UT Southern Lady Firehawks. That game has been canceled due to health and safety reasons. That is just the girls game, though. As far as we know right now, the boys game is still on. That will be December 18th. Uh, we'll provide a time on that during the boys' game later in this broadcast. And we're back in here in action as LeMay passes into Brooks. Life goes to a 2-3. And they shift to one side as they hit White. Over to LeMay. LeMay looks. Back over to Odom. Odom goes in. Shot no good, but there's going to be a foul. And that's going to be on the Lenise Santiago. That will be her first personal of the game and only the first one committed by life. Kaylee Odom, first shot is good. On the year, Kaylee Odom shooting 89% from the free throw line, second best on this Lady Lions team. And that one missed by Odom as she goes one of two. They feed back over to Wilson. Wilson takes this one in. Or, excuse me, that's that's Delk. Ten on the shot clock. They get a screen. Shot by Collins is good. Brooks comes up, and that was tipped away by Bailey. And Brooks gets it back over to Floyd, over to LeMay. LeMay's got a two-on-three three, three on two assault, and that one's going to be tipped away by White. Back over to LeMay. LeMay goes alongside to Floyd. Floyd back over. And that shot by Floyd is no good, as they call the charge. That'll be Floyd's first personal of the game, only the second team foul committed here by Freed Hardman. And good defense here by Lady Lions. K.J. White couldn't get to it in time before Santiago got to it. That shot by Santiago is rolled in. As Life now takes the lead by three. Shania Brooks beats her on the, on the sideline. Over to Floyd. Floyd over to White. White over to Brooks. Brooks goes to LeMay. LeMay steps back. Over to Floyd. They got 12 on the shot clock. And she hits LeMay. Five on the shot clock, and that's going to be tipped away by life with four seconds remaining on the shot clock. Crumpler will check in here for Shania Brooks. They hit Crumpler. That shot by Crumpler, no good. Rebounded by life. Santiago will pass off to Collins. As they roll with the back screen, try to force the mismatch. They hit Wilson. That shot is no good. Rebounded by LeMay, the leading rebounder on this Lady Lions team, averaging 8.4 rebounds a game. Adds another one to her total stats. They hit Odom inside. That foul is going to be on number 13, Rachel Wilson. That will be the third team foul committed by life, only her first. So, Freed Hardman will pass the ball in. They'll run a box set here on the right side of the basket. Crumpler goes out, and she wheels back in. They hit Floyd. Floyd gets her – gets Collins on the overplay, gets the basket up. Basket is no good, but she's at the line for two. A foul was on number 22, Olivia Duck. That's only her first, but now that's a team fourth. Next foul for life will put the Lady Lions in the bonus as Floyd will miss the first free throw. Lady Lions one of three now on the free throw line as Floyd will look, at, look to put it back at 
And she gets it. Lady Lions cut the lead to tw cut the lead to two. And we'll see what Lop does. Looks like it's going to be another Longhorn set offense here. And they hit Delk on the inside. Try to look for Wilson. Not going to be able to get her. And that shot is rolled in. They hit Crumpler. Crumpler. Or no, excuse me, that's Floyd. Now they hit Crumpler. They fade over to LeMay. LeMay looking. Over to Crumpler. Crumpler looking. They fade inside to Odom. Odom's shot is no good. And KJ White couldn't get on it. And screen, White fights through the screen by Santiago. They feed out to Collins. That shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by LeMay. Floyd, or LeMay will give it out to Floyd as Floyd looks for a shot. Not going to be able to get LeMay for three. No good. Rebounded by Odom. Odom's shot is no good. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter with life leading 15 to 11. We'll take a timeout here on the FHU Sports Network, and we'll be back with second quarter action here in, Brewer, in the Brewer Sports Center. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality, and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house, and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookums, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions lose that quarter 15 to 11 and we'll pull up some of the stats here live shot 50 percent in that quarter from the field lady lines 4 of 14 at 28 percent one of five from long range and shooting 50 percent at the line live one of four from three-point range not taking any shots at the line Lady Lions out rebounding life nine to eight. Winning the offensive boards three to one, losing the defensive boards seven to six. And Lady Lions and life each one turnover in that quarter. So biggest separation now is the field goal percentage by each team. Of course, as we said, seven to 14 for shooting for life, 7 to 14, 50%. Freed Hardman, 4 of 14 at 26%. So Morgan Collins will take the ball down the floor as they hit San Diego. And San Diego looks for the shot, but not going to be able to get it. And eight on the shot clock. Collins' shot is no good. And that one just bounces back into the hands of the life defenders. As they feed inside to Wilson, and they call the foul on Floyd. That'll be Floyd's second of the game. It'll be the first one of the quarter here. Again, fouls do reset after each quarter. So we'll see what life will run here. And that shot is no good. Rebounded by LeMay. Add another one to LeMay's rebounding stats. As they hit Reagan Floyd. They hit LeMay. LeMay looks. Feeds it inside to Chambers. Chambers fakes her out. That shot. And referee calls no shot foul. But there is a foul. 
That'll be on number 13, Rachel Wilson. That'll be her second of the game. As we'll see Amara Aday check back in. And, and so will number two, Hannah Jacks. As LeMay gets the ball, they feed outside to Floyd. Inside to Chambers. Ball was tipped. Good play. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Feed over to Floyd. Now six on the shot clock. Crumpler looks over to LeMay. LeMay's shot is no good. Rebounded by Life. Screen there by a day. That shot by Bailey is no good. Rebounded by Shania Brooks. They hit Floyd on the outside. Floyd, shot is good. Lady Lions cut the lead back to two here. They try to look inside. They get the screen from a day to Santiago. And Bailey will get the screen by Jax as they take this one in. That one blocked back by LeMay. And LeMay shot that time into the hands of a day. And a day gets the shot. And they hit LeMay. They feed back over to Brooks. And Brooks takes this one in over to Floyd. Floyd over to LeMay. LeMay over to Crumpler. She'll try to get double team, and they find LeMay wide open. And LeMay gets the points right back. We'll see Varnell check in here in a minute. They feed inside to Jax. Jax going to take this one in. And that one's stolen away by, oh, couldn't come up with it. Good defense by LeMay, able to force the ball close to being out of bounds to a forced pass, but Floyd just could not come up with it. As Varnell checks in for Crumpler. And they feed over to Jax. Feed out inside to Aday. Aday post up move and that shot is good. And Floyd goes long to Brooks as she'll get double teamed here quickly. And they back off the double team over to LeMay. LeMay, 4-3. No good. And into the hands of a day. And they force it outside to Bailey. Bailey looking no shot over to Santiago. Santiago feeds outside to a day. A day shot. And good job by Floyd, able to force a walk. KJ White checks in here for Reagan Floyd, and so will number number ten. That is Anteria Evans, as they hit Lemay. They feed out to Chambers. Chambers inside to Varnell. Varnell's shot is good. Good look by Chambers. Even better shot by Varnell. And Lady Lions. Cut the lead back to two here, just trading baskets. As they feed out to Santiago. Shot missed by Santiago, picked up by Life, and that's knocked away by Chambers. So shot clock did reset back to 20 off of the picked up possession by Evans. And Shania Brooks knocks that one away. As now we'll see another sub. That's going to be number 11. Andre Andrea Aragon checks in here for Santiago. They fade outside to Evans. And they try to go baseline, not going to be able to get it. Good defense by LeMay as a day gets it with five on the shot clock. That one knocked away by Freed Hardman and picked up by Brooks. And Brooks will hold it back here. Out to K.J. White, over to LeMay. LeMay 
out on the short corner to Brooks. Brooks a shot, no good. Rebounded by LeMay. And LeMay. Good aggressiveness there by LeMay. Able to keep the ball in possession. Gets it back out as Coach Everson will call a timeout. We'll take this one with him again. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions down by two here. And we'll see what Coach Epson will draw up here. Looks like they're going to have the ball on the baseline on the left side of the basket. And so, again, we'll see what Coach Epson decides to run here. Again, reminder that the Lady Lions game on Saturday that was supposed to be at the University of Tennessee at Southern, or University of Tennessee Southern, uh, has been postponed to December the 31st uh, due to some health and safety reasons within the UT Southern program. And so we wish UT Southern uh, speedy recovery on whatever that might be. And we'll see Lady Lions inbound of the ball as it's going to be Floyd, Varnell, Brooks, White and Chambers as LeMay will get a break here and a well-deserved one as well. They'll be in a box set. They feed out to Chambers inside to Varnell. And Varnell backs her down. Varnell shot no good. And no call on that one as a day takes it. They feed out to Bailey. Yeah, over to Jax. Jack's going to try to take this one in, and that shot to Bailey. No good. Rebounded by Varnell. Floyd will pass over to Brooks. And Floyd gets it. Floyd, a little spin move right there. They feed it over to K.J. White. K.J. White, the floater, is no good. Rebounded by Aday. And K.J. White couldn't get to it. And that one's hip. And Brooks is going to be able to get to it. And this is a two-on-one assault. And Brooks fakes her out. Brooks shot. No good. Rebounded by K.J. White, though. K.J. White able to put it back up, and it's good. And Lady Lions have got a tie game now. As Life's head coach will call a timeout. And we'll take another one with them. We'll let you hear from some of our sponsors here on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, Trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop and get back out there. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions have tied this game back up at 19. And we see some subs come in for life as Wilson will check back in and so will Santiago. And looks like Delk has also checked back in. As Lady Lions coming up with some pressure here. And what is a little pressure zone man here. They feed over. Ten seconds on the shot clock. They feed over to Brooks. Or excuse me, that's Santiago. Over to Collins. No one in the corner. And they get back to her. And that shot by Collins is good. And Shania Brooks feeds it over to Floyd. They feed inside the Chambers. Chambers looks. Good pass by Varnell. Varnell shot. A little reverse layup is good. Let's 
22-21, life in the lead here with 3.30 left to go. And they get a screen by Wilson to Collins. Outside to Delk. Delk's shot is good. And Floyd will take it up. Feed over to Brooks. Brooks looking inside. And they go out to Floyd. Floyd gets a little spin move. And they feed inside to Chambers. And just couldn't come up with it as we'll see Crumpler, LeMay, and Odom check back in here in just a little bit. And they go outside, get another feed in. Feed inside to uh, Delk, and Delk's shot is good. And Life has their biggest lead of the game at six. Brooks feeds over to Chambers. Chambers over to White. And White gets a good screen right there over to Varnell. Over to Floyd. Over to Flo uh, Chambers. And they get to Varnell. Varnell's shot is no good, but she is going to be fouled. It's either Santiago or Collins, which helps the Lady Lions out a lot. And it's going to be, be on tw number 20, Morgan Collins. That's just her first personal foul. As Odom and Crumpler check in here for Chambers and Floyd. We'll see LeMay check in here for Varnell after the two free throws. First one by Varnell is good. And that puts Varnell at five points on the night. And Varnell gets them both to go as LeMay will check in here. Alyssa LeMay, the now 1,000-point scorer here for Freed Hardman out of Mount Pleasant High School in Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, in Murray County. And we'll see Lady Lions here in a pressure man defense here. Feed into a day. A day shot. No good. Rebounded by Life, and Life couldn't get to it. LeMay will feed over to Brooks as Lady Lions will look to cut into this life lead. It's going to be a Longhorn set here. They hit LeMay. And LeMay going to be guarded by a day. A little bit of a mismatch here. They feed over to Odom. Odom shot no good. And the – or excuse me, the basket is good. I meant to say no foul. Apologize for that. 27-25 life in the lead as Lady Lions cutting into this lead very good. And they feed over. And Lady Lions want a walk call, not going to be able to get that. They feed inside. And referee on the outside called a foul. That's just the first by LeMay. They go into Delk. Delk loses it, picks it up, back, back over to Collins. That caught shot by Collins is good. And they fade over to Crumpler, and they're going to get. They're going to get Aragon with a foul. That'll be her first personal. Third team foul of the game, in, or in this quarter. Brooks gets it over to LeMay. LeMay thought about it, not going to shoot it. They feed over to Brooks. Over to back to LeMay. LeMay for three. Bang! And LeMay, one point lead now for life. As LeMay now has five in this game. And that might be what the Lady Lions need to get back, get the lead back here. They feed inside to Delk. Delk, and they get the charge. And 
and coach for life. That's Anna Kowalska not happy with that call. And they fade over to White. Over to Crumpler. Crumpler for three. Bang! Six seconds on the game clock. They feed over. And no shot. And shot is no good as we're going to go to the half with the Lady Lions ending on a 6 to nothing run. Now lead 31 to 29. And we'll take a break here. And here in just a little bit, we'll hear from head coach Drew Stutz in tonight's game against Live. We'll see some strategies on that game. Let's take that time out now on the FHU Sports Network. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in in the warehouse. And I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've not been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers. So when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back live here on the FHU Sports Network with our halftime interview with head coach Drew Stutz. Coach, great to have you back. It's been the first interview we've had since uh, the November 20th game against Lindsey Wilson. Uh, so uh, there's been a lot of games happened since then. The first two I want to talk about are the two games that we had uh, at that show classic in East, over in East Tennessee. We're able to knock off Washington Adventist and then able to knock off Indiana East. Your thoughts on uh, the guys' performance in those games? Yeah, um, you know, we did some good things in both of those games. It was a really cool event. Most of the teams were there at the the convention center that we stayed at, and so we were, we're spending the night there, and you get, kind of get to interact with some of those teams. So it was a really cool event. Uh, Washington Adventist didn't play our best, but still came away with a win. Uh, IU East got it going in the second half, did some good things in that game. But, uh, you know, it was a, a good event for us and a good showing as well. The next two games that you had were two conference games against uh, the one at Campbellsville. Let's go over that one real quick. What are your thoughts on the team's performance? And it was a highly uh, fought battle game. It ended up being 110-104 in an overtime battle. Your thoughts on that? Yeah, it was an absolutely great game, um, great environment there. We played pretty well. Uh, Campbellsville played really well, uh, too. They, they shot the ball extremely well. I think they were 14 of 22 that game, and a lot of those were contested. They, uh, they had some players play extremely well. 
Loved our composure in the game. Uh, there was a lot of up and down during the game. They made some runs. We made some runs. But in that environment, they're a really talented team. They got four Division One transfers on that team. Um, and for our young guys, it was a great experience to to go on the road, first game, conference, and uh, really be battle tested. You know, we came up short, but I was really proud with how we played. All right, so the next game uh, was able to come up with a win against Georgetown, who was a ranked opponent. So, able, what are your thoughts? Able to pull off an upset, I guess what you call it, in another team's home hometown. Yeah, it was a big win. Uh, I, I kind of went back. I know Georgetown's kind of one of the blue bloods in NAI basketball. And I think they've only lost three games at home over the last four years. So to go on the road there and beat them at their place, uh, really big win for us. Um, you know, they're extremely talented every year. They're going to be really good again this year, top 15 team in the nation. So, uh, you know, good. Campbellsville, you go there, uh, you come up a little short. It was great to see us come back, have some resiliency against a really talented team and uh, find a way to get a win on the road. So, and then the last game that we were able to have was the game against Fisk where we came up with a strong win, 98-68. to 68. Got a lot of uh, key minutes in for some of these uh, players that don't get a lot of other playing time. But your thoughts on that game and how yeah. that went? I mean, it was a good game. Um, Fisk, we didn't have all their guys. We played pretty well in the game. Had some guys shoot it really well early. I think Riley hit maybe five threes in the first half of that game. They zoned us. Um, but, you know, it was a good game for us, just kind of a clean-up game. And, uh, you know, that makes six of our last seven that we've won. Kind of starting to find ourselves a little bit. We've got some of these young guys that are really stepping up and playing big minutes. And uh, so it's exciting to see us kind of hitting our stride a little bit right now. And talk about some of those new guys. Uh, Geraldo Lane right now, second in the team as far as points go. Leads the team also in rebounds. Uh, first in blocks. And as far as that goes, he's – uh, been a key factor in uh, this team. We'll talk about Alex Rush here in a minute, but your uh, first thoughts on uh, Geraldo Lane. Uh, Geraldo, he just got a great motor. Uh, he's a great kid. He plays hard. He works hard. To be a true freshman, to be you know thrown in the fire and being expected a lot of him, he's playing probably 27, 28 minutes a game. Uh, just a great complimentary piece to what we have. Defends really well. You know, extremely athletic. But uh, really excited for him. Glad he's here and glad he's going to be here for the next three or four years. And then now to one of our other new guys, Alex Rush. Uh, third in overall rebounds, uh, second in overall blocks. Uh, leads the team in field goal percentage. And, again, just what your thoughts on uh, Alex Rush? Yeah, Alex has been huge for us. Uh, early in the season, you know, taking a little time to find themselves. We, um, you know, we played pretty fast. And the high school we came from, you know, they, they slow it down at times. So it's taken him a little while just to adjust the speed of the game. But now that he has, he's playing really well on both ends of the floor. At Georgetown, he was absolutely huge for us. I think he had 13, 14 points on maybe six of eight shooting. I mean, he, he really played well in that game on both ends of the floor. So it's exciting to see him come along. Geraldo, two freshmen, guys that we can build around for years to come. And then uh, going into not, to the Knights game against Life, uh, Life on total averaging about 76 uh, points a game uh, as far as the team goes. A pretty well balanced. Uh, the top three scorers, Nathan Presnell averaging 14, Cam Horton at 13, Chris Barnes at 12, and they have another one at 11. Forgot to write that down, but uh, what's the strategy not going against a well-balanced uh, team? Yeah, Life, uh, you know, they haven't really got off to a great start in conference as far as wins and losses. They're 0-4 in conference play, but if you look at their scores, they played some of the best teams. They were on the road at Thomas Moore, had those guys down late in the game, lost to Shawnee State, national champs by one or two on the road. I mean, they've been in every game. They just keep coming up a little short. So this is a really balanced team, really good team. The record definitely doesn't speak to what they're capable of. Um, you know, they throw a lot of different defenses at you. They're going to pick us up full court man. They're going to trap. They're going to run some half court zone. So they really try to keep you off balance. It's going to be really important for us to keep our composure and execute. Uh, just understand the ebbs and flows of the game and not allow them to really speed us up. But uh, they're a good team, and, you know, it's, it's going to be a tough game tonight. So, you, uh, final question we'll get to you before uh, we have you say something to the fans. Uh, what Overall, like, what's your thoughts on uh, the team's, like, performance the first half of the season? How do you think that will, uh, I guess, stay, uh, stay the same as we go on into the uh, later part of the season? Yeah, it's something our team, you know, we've talked about is just kind of – the early in the year, you know, kind of a little struggling a little bit to find ourselves defensively, offensively. We got some new pieces that we're trying to work in, some youth. But I feel like over the last five or six games, we started finding ourselves. Um, and so I'm really excited. Uh, I think we're still a long ways from being as good as we can be. You know, we really haven't shot the ball very well at this point. Up to our standard, we're about 36% from three. 
Cortland and Wanye, both those guys have shot the ball fine, but they're really capable of heating up. We know that from their careers. Uh, so I think our best basketball is way ahead of us at this point. And, uh, you know, I think our team, you know, we're going to be challenged. This is a great league, but I think we're capable of doing a lot in this league and, and really having a successful season. All right, so, Coach, uh, a lot of uh, player uh, people not here tonight as most of the student section gone for Chris Christmas break and won't return until, I believe, January 16th. Uh, so anything you want to say to the fans back home that are watching any, uh, our student section that's watching back home? Yeah, I want to say a couple things before we get to that. Really proud of our guys in the classroom. You know, we had 15 guys this this semester finish with above a 3-0, and I think overall team GPA of around 3-3. Uh, that's five semesters in a row our guys have finished with above a 3-0. I know you guys see them play, and we're live streaming the games, and, you know, they're really good basketball players. But at the same time, these guys are great guys, and it really speaks to who they are about them taking care of things in the classroom and being true student athletes. So I just want to recognize them first. As far as the fans at home, you know, appreciate you guys tuning in. I know my family tonight is at home. Uh, my son Roman's got the flu. Deacon really wanted to come tonight, but didn't get a chance to come. So I know they're watching. I told Deacon I would say hey to him tonight. But, um, you know, excited for tonight's game. Hope we put on a good show. And uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Great things going on at Freed Hartman. Freed Hartman tonight will take on Life University at 8 o'clock. And that will be around the start off tip off time. Let's take a timeout. We'll be back with halftime stats here on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online. We make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookums, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Freed Hardman. A strong end to the second quarter gives them now a 31 to 29 lead. Uh, going into the third to the second half here. Let's look at some stats here for you. Overall life, shooting at 13 of 28 from the field at 46%. Freed Hardman, 12 of 28 at 42%. From three-point range, Freed Hardman is 3 of 8 at 37%. Life is 3 of 10 at 30%. No free throws for life here in this game, but Freed Hardman, 4 of 6 at 67%. Freed Hardman winning the turnover battle as they only have two to life's four, and Freed Hardman getting six points off of those turnovers. Life only having four off of R2. Freed Hardman and Life tied in the overall rebounding battle. 
at 14 as Freed Hardman has five offensive, Life three offensive. Defensively, Life has 11, Freed has nine. At assist total, nine to four win for Freed Hardman, leading the block battle as well, one to nothing. And the steal battle, three to one. Freed Hardman winning in bench points, 10 to four. Second chance point, both teams are tied at four, and points in the paint are tied at 14. For life, they've been led by Morgan Collins with 11 points, 5 of 10 from the field, 1 of 3 from long range, as well as 1 rebound and 3 assists. Olivia Delk has 7 points with 4 rebounds. Lenny Santiago, 5 points and a rebound. Amara Ade has 4 points and 5 rebounds. Rachel Wilson, 2 points, 2 rebounds. And other than that, Aragon able to get an assist. Sienna Bailey able to get 1 rebound. And for Freed Hardman, it's been Reagan Floyd with 8 points. And one rebound and assist. Uh, Kenley Varnell, six points, three rebounds and an assist. Alyssa LeMay, five points, four rebounds. Shana- or Allie Crumpler, Allie, or yeah, Allie Crumpler, three points, one rebound. Kaylee Odom, three points, two rebounds. KJ White, two points and a rebound and an assist. Caroline Chambers, two points and two assists. And Shania Brooks, two points, three rebounds and three assists as we're getting ready to kick off second half action here at, in the Brewer Sports Center. Crumpler for three, no good. Picked up by Chambers. Out to Brooks. Over to Floyd. Floyd back over to Crumpler. Inside to Varnell. Varnell going to take it back out. Inside to Chambers. Chambers tries to go short corner. Not going to be able to get it. As Shania Brooks gets it back. Feeds it out to Crump- Floyd. Floyd for three. No good. Rebound by Varnell. Varnell's shot is good. And Varnell now has eight points on the day. The... Transfer junior out of Bald Knob, Arkansas, coming to us from Florida College. And that shot is no good by Sienna Bailey, picked up by Varnell. And they feed inside to Chambers. Chambers not going to be able to get it. That's going to be knocked out of bounds by Life. And we'll see what Freed Hardman runs right here. As the referees discuss something here. And they reverse the decision. You know, there is no replay system here for the NAIA schools. So they will not go to the replay on this, but they do reverse the decision as they feed inside to Delk. They feed back into Wilson. Wilson's shot is no good. Rebounded by Brooks. And they feed over to Varnell. Varnell's going to take this one in. That shot by Varnell, no good, but rebound by Chambers. Chambers' shot is good. Good job by Varnell. Able to force two defenders on her. And the missed shot with an easy layup by Caroline Chambers. And good call or good defense there on the back screen as that one's going to be tipped away. Good defense and good hustle by Kenley Varnell. Fifteen on the shot clock, and that one almost knocked away, but Brooks able to come back up with it. They feed out to Floyd. They go back inside to Brooks. Five on the shot clock. That one blocked. Picked up by Life. Outside to Santiago. She goes baseline. And they go inside. That shot is good. And Brooks. No look pass over to Floyd. They skip it over to Crumpler. Crumpler for three. No good, but rebound by Varnell. Varnell's shot is good. As a day is going to check back in here for in a little bit. Crumpler. And it's blocked by Crumpler. And Crumpler gets it back. She's going to take this one in. Into Varnell. Varnell's shot is good. And life is going to call a timeout off of the long Freed Hardman run. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back here in 30 seconds on the FHU Sports Network. 
At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours, no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as the Lady Lions lead by eight. And it's been a strong first or second half here as Lady Lions been able to outscore life eight to two. And we'll get some split stats here in a minute as soon as we can get that pulled up for you. And don't know if we'll be able to get it pulled up here. And again, we apologize, not able to get the split stats pulled up here. But life will inbound the ball here. They feed over inside, go back outside. Back inside to Ada, but going to be kicked by Crumpler. And that shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by... Rebounded by Collins. I believe they were one and over the back call. Not going to be able to get that. Four on the shot clock. Collins is going to shoot it. That shot no good. Rebounded by Ada, but she's going to get caught over the back. And we'll see what number foul. That's going to be Ada second. As LeMay, White, and Odom. We'll check in here for Crumpler, Varnell, and Chambers. They fade over to LeMay. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Kaylee Odom. And Kaylee Odom will pick up her... That'll just be her first. This is the only first team foul committed by Freed Hardman here in the second half as Brooks steals that away over to Kaylee Odom. Kaylee Odom couldn't come up with it. Over to LeMay. Over to White. White for three. No good. Rebounded by Ada. She'll hand it off to Collins. And couldn't come up with it was Floyd. That shot by Santiago is no good. Rebounded by K.J. White. And they feed over to Floyd. And they feed over to LeMay. And they're going to call a reaching foul. And that's going to be on Andrea Aragon. That'll be her second personal foul, second team foul here in the quarter. And they feed outside to Floyd. Go back to LeMay. LeMay for three. Bang! And Lady Lions has her biggest lead of the night at 11 now. 42-31. Freed Hardman in the lead. As they get a screen here, they feed inside. That shot is no good. Rebounded by LeMay. And 
Florida will fade inside to Odom. Odom's shot is good. And now Lady Lions have a 13-point lead. And that shot blocked by Brooks, and oh, they call a foul. Oh, Lady Lions were wanting that. But that's just going to be Brooks's first personal foul, the second one committed by the Lady Lions in this quarter. As Carissa Curtis will check in here for Freed Hardman. And there's going to be an immediate timeout on the floor. We'll take this one with them again. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions lead 44-31 to 31 here in the third quarter. Reminder, after, after the conclusion of this game, we will have hopefully a coaching, a coach interview and a player interview with one of the Lady Lions players uh, after the conclusion of this game. And reminder, also, Lions will be in action as well as they will take on life. And that is a... Highly anticipated matchup as both teams fight for better conference, better conference record as the conference tournament approaches later in February. And Morgan Collins will be at the line shooting too. First one by Collins is good. Collins will be at the line for the second free throw as she is now at 12 points on the night's game. And she's now at 13. And they feed it over to K.J. White. K.J. White's going to take this one in. She'll take it back out, though. Feeds back over to, over to Floyd. Floyd gets it over to Curtis. They feed inside to Odom. Odom's shot is no good. Rebound by Odom again, though, and she still can't get it to go. And life. See what they run. It's going to be a long horn set here. That shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by Delk. And shot by Delk is no good. That'll be KJ White's first personal foul. The third one for Freed Hardman. First one by Delk is no good. That's only the third free throw shot by Life here in this game. Third one in this quarter as well. And Dell gets one out of the two as Life cuts into this lead now by 10. As they feed over to Curtis. Curtis feeds back over to LeMay. LeMay goes over to Floyd. Over to KJ White. KJ White can't get, can't get Kaylee Odom. And they feed it over to Floyd. White for three. No good. And it's good. And Lady Lions take the uh, lead back at 13. <laughs> As Freed Hardman will look to see what life has for offense here. And Delk splits the defenders, able to get the basket in. And they still stick with the press here. It's, still, it's, it looks like a 1-2-1-1 one, one, one now. As they hit K.J. White, K.J. White going to take this one in. 
And that shot is no good. And But they do call the foul. And the foul is on Amara Edie. That'll be her third personal foul. As Caroline Chambers will check in here for Kaylee Odom. Shania Brooks checks in for Reagan Floyd. And for life, Rachel Wilson will check in for Amara Edie. So KJ White at the line shooting two. Lady Lions four of six on the night from free throw range. And make that five of seven. K.J. White not going to get that one to go as it's picked up by Rachel Wilson from live. But Lady Lions do have a 12-point lead. They feed it over to Bailey. Bailey looks inside to Wilson. And that shot is no good. Rebounded by Life, And that shot is no good. Rebounded by K.J. White. They feed Brooks. Over to LeMay. LeMay for three. Bang! 15-point lead for the Lady Lions here in the Brewer Sports Center. As life will look to set up an offense here. Looks like a will set here. They feed it over to Bailey. Bailey looking inside for Dell. Can't get it. And that one's going to be tipped away into the hands of Carissa Curtis. And they, oh, almost a good pass by Caroline Chambers. Or, excuse me, almost good pass by Carissa Curtis to Caroline Chambers. Unfortunately tipped away by the Lady Running Eagles of life. And step back two by LeMay, no good. Rebounded by Chambers. They feed outside to Curtis. Curtis for three, no good, just rolls out. And a little action going on below between Wilson and Flo uh, Brooks. And they'll run a pick and roll. And Brooks almost forces it away. That shot. Is no good. Rebounded by KJ White. KJ White takes this one in. That shot is no good. And they call a they call the charge, I believe. I believe there will be discussion. And never mind, there will be no discussion on that. Life will take the ball up here. They feed it outside. And that shot is good. Rachel Wilson gets the basket, and now she has six points on the night, and she'll be at the line trying to get it to seven. Can't get that one to go. Rebounded by Chambers. Into the hands of Brooks. Brooks will take this one in. Shot by Brooks is no good, but there's going to be a foul. Foul is on number 10. That is Anteria Evans. Crumpler will check in here for K.J. White. First shot by Brooks is good. Brooks now at three points on the game. Not a lot of shots, but she's got a lot of rebounds and assists. And make that four for Shania. They fade inside to Wilson, over to Evans. 
There is a three-second separation between the game clock and the shot clock. And now there will be none as Rachel Wilson gets called for the three-second violation. Seven on the shot clock. Or on the game clock, excuse me. Brooks takes this one in. It feeds inside to Chambers. Chambers shot is good. It is a basket. Gets good. Foul is on number 15, Sienna Bailey. That is the fifth one on life. Only the first on Bailey. Chambers can't convert the end one. Picked up by life. And not going to be able to get the basket to go as we'll take we'll go to the fourth quarter with Freed Hartman leading 55 to 38. We'll take a timeout on the FHU Sports Network and we'll be back with fourth quarter action. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as we have a great game going on. 55-38, Freed Hardman is leading. If you know someone tonight that was not able to watch the game, you can tell them that it will be archived later on YouTube on the Worthy Road Studios YouTube page. And it will be titled Freed Hardman University versus Life uh, Women's ba Life Basketball. They have both men's and women's action on there. And, again, that is on the Worthy Road Studios YouTube page. As... That shot by Santiago is no good. Rebounded by Wilson. That shot is good. Shania Brooks fades it into Varnell. Varnell, little contact by Santiago. They fit it over to Brooks, and she gets past half court. Varnell gets it over to Crumpler. Crumpler inside to Chambers. Chambers from the outside, no good. Rebounded by, they say it is off of life or excuse me, off of Freed Hardman into the hands of life. Freed Hardman, 15-point lead. Gets screened by Wilson. That shot by Santiago, no good. Rebounded by Wilson. Or excuse me, that was Doug. Now that one's rebounded by Wilson. And that shot, no good. Rebounded by Chambers. Curtis takes it out inside the Chambers. And they're going to get Chambers with a walk on that one. And life will look to find something right here. Feeds it over inside the Delk. And they call a jump ball. Jump ball possession for Freed Hardman. It's going to be into the hands of Freed Hardman now. Feed it over to Varnell. Back over to Crumpler. Crumpler thought about it, not going to take it. That time over to Brooks. Brooks with a reverse layup. It's good. Lady Lions lead by 17 now. 
Here with eight minutes left to go in this game. And that floater by Collins is good. Trading baskets now. 15-point lead here for the Lady Lions. Shania Brooks will take it up over to Caroline Chambers. Over to Chris Curtis. Chris Curtis for three. No good. Just rolled out. But into the hands of Kenley Varnell. Kenley Varnell takes this one, and basket is good. Fifty nine, forty two, Freed Hardman now leading. As there's gonna be a back screen off the ball. They try to feed inside, they get it to Delk. Delk oh inside to Wilson. Wilson shot is blocked by Chambers, but they call the foul. I believe they're gonna get it on Carissa Curtis off the ball. Oh no, they do get it on Caroline Chambers. That'll be Caroline Chambers is only her first foul of the game, as now we're gonna get a whole platoon substitution in. As that includes LeMay, Kaylee Odom, Reagan Floyd, KJ White, and Reagan Purvine sees action for the first time today. First shot by Wilson is good. Brings her total to nine. And that one missed, but they say it didn't even get the rim. As life is going to go with a 2-3 here. Feed it over to Purvine. Feed it over to Floyd. Go back over to Purvine. Over to LeMay. LeMay for three. Bang! And LeMay brings the lead to 19 now for Freed Hardman as she comes up with her 14th points of the game. And that shot by Bailey is good. Sienna Bailey now on the board for life. 6-19 left to go in this game. They feed over to White. White going to get a screen here from Odom. Over to LeMay. LeMay, long side to Floyd. Floyd for three. Bang! Now 20-point lead for Freed Hardman. That shot by Bailey is no good. Rebounded by LeMay. Pays over to Floyd. They go over to KJ White. Back over to Kaylee Odom. And to Purvine. Six seconds on the shot on the shot clock. Five. Floyd gonna have to put it up a shot here. That shot no good. Rebounded by LeMay. And they call the foul on Bailey. And they beat Floyd inside. Floyd's shot is good. And Life tries to feed it inside, can't get it. They go outside to Jacks, over to Collins. Collins looking, feeds it inside to Delk. Over to Wilson, knocked away by White. That shot by Bailey is no good.
as Hannah Hughes will check in for Kaylee Odom. And we're going to get a media timeout. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions have taken a 22-point lead with 424 left to go. And Freed Hartman will have the ball off of the shot clock violation by life. We'll see what Freed Hardman will do here. As we see Hannah Hughes has checked in. Great to see Hannah Hughes back here in the Brewer Sports Center. As she's been suffering with an ankle injury uh, here at the beginning of the year. So, again, great to see Hannah Hughes back out on the floor here for Freed Hardman. Life still in the 2-3 defense as they feed over to K.J. White. K.J. White for three. No good. Rebounded by Life. Collins is looking, and they try to feed over to Bailey. They get it over to Bailey. Feeds it back over to Delco, back over to Bailey. Ten on the shot clock now. That shot by Collins is good. Feed over to LeMay. LeMay thought about it, not going not gonna to shoot it from that deep. Feed over to K.J. White. Over to Floyd. Back into Hughes. Good pass over to Pervine. Pervine feeds it into LeMay. LeMay's shot is good. Good ball movement, especially on the inside there by Freed Hardman. As it's now 69 to 47 with 3.08 left to go. Life will run a Longhorn set offense here. They get the screen. And that shot by Delk is no good. Rebounded by Wilson. Foul's going to be on Alyssa LeMay. That'll just be her second of the game. As you see, Carissa Curtis and Taryn Kyle checks back in. Taryn Kyle seeing her first minutes on the floor today. First one by Wilson rolls out. We'll see the second one here by Wilson, who is now at nine points on the game. Wilson, that one rolls out too. Picked up by Pervine. Feeds it over to LeMay. They go out to Pervine. Pervine looking inside to Hughes. Hughes' shot is good. And Hannah Hughes gets her first two points inside the Brewer Sports Center this year. Lady Lions now lead by 24. And they're going to say she was out of bounds. As Kenley Varnell will check back in here for Alyssa LeMay. 
Amara 80 will also check back in here for Rachel Wilson. As now we're at the two-minute mark. They give it to Taryn Kyle. Taryn Kyle thought about it, not going to do it. Kenley Varnell back over to Pervine. Pervine trying to take it in, can't get it. Over to Curtis, over to Kyle. Kyle for three. No good. Rebounded by Life. And that was going to be tipped away by Varnell, picked up by Pervine. Chris Curtis gets it. Over to Pervine. Pervine for three. No good. Rebounded by Life. They feed it into Edie. Edie can't come up with it. Freed Hardman. Minute 24 left to go in this game. Feed it over to Kyle. Kyle over to Pervine. Pervine looking. Feeds it over to Kyle. Back out to Pervine. Pervine over to Curtis. And they just move it around here. Good pass over to Curtis. Curtis for three. No good. As we're now under a minute here in this game, and Lady Lions have a 71 to 47 lead. And Collins takes this one in, and they're going to call the foul on the floor. That'll be the first one on Pervine, the third one by Freed Hardman in this quarter. And they say it was on the floor. And they finally get it outside to Jax. Good, good screen by Edie. And they're going to call the foul on that one. That'll be the first one on Hannah Hughes. That one tipped away, picked up by Curtis. And they skip that one over to Pervine. Pervine beats Kyle. Kyle for three. No good. Rebounded by Varnell. Feeds back over to Curtis with a seven-second separation between game clock and shot clock. Pervine knocks it down. Bang! 74-47. Freed Hardman leads by 27 in this game. And Life will take the ball up with the shot clock dead. And screen there. Shot by Collins is no good. Rebounded by Pervine. And Lady Lions. Get the win here, 74 to 47. And Freed Hardman moves now to nine and three, or excuse me, eight and three on the year, two and three in conference play. We'll take an extended time out here on the FHU Sports Network, and we'll be back with hopefully a coach interview and also a player interview, and we'll preview some stats for tonight's boys game. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well, because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. 
Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse. And I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer... They would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. 
This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but close Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well, because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but close Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Buying a car is all about you. 
in person, over the phone, or online. We make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say, not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's POWER to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And we're back live here on the FHU Sports Network as Lady Lions able to pick up their second conference win of the year, moving them to two and three in the conference, and I believe now eight and three overall. So a great win by the Lady Lions today. Coach, your thoughts? Yeah, it was good. Uh, it moved us to nine and three on the season now, two and three in conference. Obviously, we, we're going to keep improving. Two and three is not where we want to be in the conference, but they did a good job, especially the second half. Did a job. We had 19 assists. Uh, anytime we share the ball like that, that's big for us. Really ran the floor well, I thought, offensively in the second half. And we, you know, kind of switched things up, started switching a lot more screens. You know, first we were going to go underneath, but it just wasn't putting enough pressure. So we made an adjustment. Girls did a good job of doing that and um, played well as a team tonight. So what did you tell your team, uh, going more in depth on that, what did you tell your team? At first half, again, started out a little bit slow. Yeah. Uh, I believe we're down in the first quarter. Ended on a six to nothing run uh, to go up by two uh, as going into halftime. Your thought, or what did you tell your team uh, coming into that second half? You know, the really the big thing was just having confidence that you know the game plan will work. We had to shift things up, put a little more pressure on them on the defensive end, and we just decided we're going to run a little bit more offensively. We were trying to play a little bit too much of a half court game, which they're not bad in the half court as they showed in the first half. But when we started pushing the ball and really attacking their press and getting good shots off of it. Uh, that really helped us extend the lead. All right, so uh, as far as uh, individual uh, stats go, who do you think probably played the biggest uh, the biggest key factor in today's <laughs> game? There's a b- bunch to choose from. Especially there is in that a bunch. Half. I-, I really don't know if I can choose anybody. But, you know, I- I'll give the props because she's here and she's done a great job for us. Schneider Brooks has done a great job, did a good job tonight against the press. You know, the biggest thing for us as a team tonight, we had five turnovers. You know, we're the leading team in the country as far as turning the ball over, as far as we just don't do it much. And that's why Shania took a good job tonight, created some good shots for us, and really made them eventually come out of the press, something they don't do very often. They press all game long. She did a good job being heady, find the open man. And and the one thing that's great about a point guard that Shania does well is Shania doesn't care if she scores. She just cares if we score. And that's what you want in a point guard. All right, Coach. Well, before you turn it over to Shania, anything you want to say to the fans, our student section that's watching back home, anything you want to say to them? Well, tonight was a fun game, especially in the second half. Played really a uh, fun style of basketball. Hopefully be, people keep watching that. Once again, held the team to a low amount of points. Um, you know, we're, we're battling right now to be a top defensive team also in the conference. So between taking care of the ball and taking care of it on the defensive end, we're, we're doing a lot of good things, and hopefully people want to watch at home and watch in person too. All righty. So, uh, like I said, you do have Shania here. So, you want to say anything about her before we uh, put her put her on? Or? Yeah, Shania is a, a senior for us. Uh, like I said, point guard, really quick player, uh, jitterbug out there. It makes makes things happen for us on the offensive defensive end. Really great on ball defender. If there's somebody that's a pretty much any point guard, we're going to have her guard them because she can get up on them and she can make them uncomfortable. And that's huge. Anytime you're on defense, you've got to make the ball uncomfortable. All righty. Well, we'll turn it over to Shania now. Uh, as we do our player interview for today's game. Uh, Shania, great to have you with us. Uh, so, Shania, guard out of Linden, Tennessee, played Perry County High School, uh, b- familiar with the area from Lewis County. Uh, so, uh, how's how uh, playing at Perry County, how does that make a difference uh, tonight, if you will uh, move closer for me? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you're good, you're good. Uh, how, how is uh, playing at Perry County different from coming into Freed Harbor as far as atmosphere, just overall difference? Well, the atmosphere atmosphere here is was great. I mean, I love having my, being home close. It's a great having all these people here and 
Um, you know, it's not, it's not really that much different if you think about it. Yeah. Perry County, big basketball town, m most well known for boys basketball. But I believe uh, was it might have been one or two years you actually took Perry County uh, to a state tournament uh, along with your teammate Reagan Floyd. We'll get to that here in a minute. But how did that feel taking your team to a state tournament, and how does that play the factor uh, in your playing days here at Freed Hardman? Oh, it felt great. I mean, but being here, I mean, I love having teammates that you know they want to score, they want to. It's not just going to be me. I mean, I have people that I can depend on as well. So, yeah. it, I mean, I love I love playing here. And going uh, more emphasis on that, uh, I believe Perry County 2,000 point score got that your senior year uh, in the what was it district tournament or was it still regular season? You it got was district tournament. District tournament, you got that, uh, and what was probably considered the toughest district uh, in all of uh, TWSWA. Uh, so, uh, how does that feel uh, be, from being a 2,000-point scorer to having other girls that can uh, score the ball like you have Alyssa LeMay, you have Caroline Chambers, uh, people like that? How does how does that make a difference? I think it, it feels better. To, I mean, I mean, I love I love being, having um, other scorers on the team. You know, not just me. I don't want the spotlight just on me. I want it on the whole team. You know. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so. Uh, while you're playing days at Perry County, you got to play with Reagan Floyd, and now that you're at Freed Hardman, you and Reagan Floyd again, uh, find yourself on the same team. Uh, is there any difference between from playing at Perry County with her to playing now here at Freed Hardman? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, 40-41, we, we always go back and forth. We love to push each other. It's always the same. It's always going to be the same. All righty, Shania. Well, thank you for having you. Uh, thank you for joining with us. Uh, anything you want to say to uh, your friends and family that might be watching back in Linden? I might get a call from Joel Plunkett here in a minute. <laughs> See, uh, just he'll probably be like, could you not tell her to make a shout-out for me? But uh, I'll probably get a call from him in just a minute. But anything you want to say to your fans back at uh, Perry County High School? I know some of your family might be here tonight, but anything you want to say to them? Uh, just thanks for cheering me on and thanks for watching. Yeah. All righty. That, that's Shania Brooks for you, and we'll take a timeout. We'll be back here with men's preseason stats. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, Trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop and get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Freed Hardman, Lady Lions, pick up the win, move to 9-3 and three now on the year. And we'll get you some action now. It's time for men's basketball action as Freed Hardman, men's basketball takes on life, University running Eagles. And, again, trying to get stats, the live stats pulled up here. Freed Hardman eight and has comes in this game eight and three on the year three and one in conference play, while Life comes in this game three and six zero oh and four in conference play. Life has lost their last six, started out three and zero, oh, now zero oh and six or zero oh and six here in their last six games. Freed Hardman eight and three has won their last two, that being against Georgetown and Fisk. So Freed Hardman now eight and three, three and one in the conference. Uh, Freed Hardman's last game was 98-68 win over Fisk. And for life, it was a 82-77 loss against CIU. Coming in this game, Freed averages 83 points per game, 32 rebounds, 7 offensives, 24 defensive, 12 assists per game, 6 steals, 3 blocks, shooting about 48.5% 48 from Field goal range, 35% from long range and 78% from the charity strike. Averaging about 12 turnovers a game, but they are forcing 13.8 turnovers a game. For life, they're averaging 76 points per game. 
rebounding about 33, uh, 33 boards a game, 10 of those offensive, 22 defensive. Averaging about 14 assists, right at right under seven steals a game, 2.4 blocks a game, shooting at about 45%, and shooting 32% from long range, 67% from the charity strike, while averaging 14 turnovers a game and forcing 13 turnovers a game. For Freed Hardman, they are led and scoring by Cortland Martin, averaging 20 and a half points per game, followed by Gerardo Lane and Riley McLaren, just right over 10. At rebounds, Gerardo Lane averages under seven. Riley McLaren and Alex Rush averaging right under three. The assist margin, Cortland Martin leads that with three assists. Wanya King, Zach Bauer, and Gerardo Lane are right behind him at one and a half assists per game. On the steals margin, Wanya King leads that one at right under two steals a game. Cortland Martin just under him at 1.4. McLaren just under a steal a game. In the block column, Gerardo Lane leads that one just under a block a game. Alex Rush right under him at .7 and Hunter Scarlock under him at .6. Field goal percentage, Alex Rush, 65%. The freshman out of Cookville, Tennessee leads that one. And John Moore, the freshman out of Somerset, Kentucky, at 62.5%. And then you have Hunter Scurlock out of Good Pasture with 58%. Riley McLaren leads the three-point percentage market at 48%. Dawson Bailey at 42, Hunter Scurlock at 38. And the free throw range, Wanya King leads that at 100%. Riley McLaren 89 and Corlin Martin 84. For life, they are led in scoring by Nathan Press now at 14, Cam Horton at 13, Chris Barnes at 12. And rebounds, Nathan Presnell leads that one as well at 5.2 rebounds a game, while Lorenzo Farrell averages five, and Keonzo Chavis averages, is averaging 3.8. And the assist margin, Cam Horton and Keonzo Chavis average 2.9, while Jordan Hernandez averages 2.2. And the steals margin, Lorenzo Farrell leads that one at 1.2, Cam Horton 1.1. And Hernandez and Pittman Jr. each have one average a game. In the blocks column, Cam Horton leads. Cam Horton and Nathan Presnell actually lead that one at .7 blocks a game, while Tylen Green averages .6. In the field goal range, Chris Barnes leads that one at 62%, while Nathan Presnell at 55, Cam Horton at 51. In the three-point long range percentage, Jordan Hernandez is the leader for life at 38%, 36% for Cam Horton, and 35% for Kenny Pittman Jr. And from free throw range, it is life leading that one, or excuse me, Nathan Presnell and Jordan Hernandez leading that one at 83%. Chris Barnes at 78%. And with 15 seconds left to go before, the, before our national anthem and stuff, we'll head down to the floor for our invocation, our national anthem, and our starting lineups.
And now for the starting lineups for both teams, beginning with the visitors from Life University. At guard, a 6'5 senior from Compton, California, number zero, Chris Barnes. At forward, a 6'5 senior from Chesapeake, Virginia, number four, Kyonze Chavez. At guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Miami, Florida, number 11, Jordan Hernandez. At forward, a 6'9 sophomore from Hiram, Georgia, number 24, Nathan Presnell. And at guard, a 6'2 senior from Jacksonville, Alabama, number 40, Cam Horton. Life University is coached by Kevin Easley, assistant coaches Silly Hawn, and Chris O'Brien. And now, get on your feet and make some noise. Here are the starters for your Freed Hardeman University Lions. At guard, a 5'11 senior from Humble, Tennessee, number zero, Cortland Martin. At guard, a 6'1 senior from Fort Payne, Alabama, number one, Wanye Key. At forward, a 6'7 sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee, number three, Hunter Skurlock. At guard, a 6'5 freshman from Huntsville, Alabama, number four, Geraldo Lane. And at forward, a 6'8 freshman from Somerset, Kentucky, number 20, John Moore. Head coach for Freed Hardeman is Drew Stutz. And this there's your starting lineup for Hardeman. tonight's game. For life, it's number zero, Chris Barnes, number four, Keonze Chavis. Number 10, Tylen Green. Number 24, Nathan Presnell. And number 40, Cam Horton. For Freed Hardman, it is the usual now starting five. Number zero, Cortland Martin. Number one, Wanye King. Number three, Hunter Scurlock. Number four, Geraldo Lane. And number 20, John Moore. John Moore and Nathan Presnell will be set to tip off here. as referees get ready to start this game as more, more impressed now will be set to tip off. And it's basketball time in Henderson. Life will win the tip. Two 20-minute halves here as Freed Harden will start off in a man-to-man. -man. They go inside to press nail. Back outside. Moore being guarded by Press, Pressnell being guarded by Moore. And they get Gerardo Lane jumping out to Cam Horton. Cam Horton for three is good. Life will start out in the press here. They feed Hunter Scurlock. They go to Wanye King. And good job by the Lions, able to break the press here. Wanya King gets it out to John Moore, over to Skurlock. Skurlock over to Cortland. Cortland gets the screen. And that shot, no, over to John Moore. John Moore's shot is no good. Rebounded by Life. Chris Barnes has got the ball. They fade over to Cam Horton. He'll be guarded by Cortland Martin as they get a screen. And that shot by Barnes is no good. Rebounded by Presnell, able to knock it out. They feed inside to Presnell. Presnell, the leading scorer for this running Eagles team. That shot. And they call the walk on Cam Horton. And Skurlock will get it into Martin as life will still be in this press. They fit it out to Skurlock, over to John Moore, over to King. Martin being guarded tightly by Horton. They fit it over to Moore, eight on the shot clock. That shot by King, no good, rebounded by life. Twenty-three on the shot clock now. They go inside. 
And that shot by Green is no good. Rebound by Moore. They feed out to Martin. They go over to Wanye. They go out to John Moore. John Moore going to get a good screen for Scurlock. And John Moore had Hunter Scurlock. Scurlock wasn't looking. And that shot is good. Chris Barnes able to get that basket in his first two points of the night. And they try to get a double team, won't be able to get it. Instead, will slow the Lions offense down. Feed outside to Martin. Martin for three. Can't get it. Rebounded by, they're going to say it was off of the hands of Gerardo Lane. Life will try to extend this lead here. Freed Hartman will be looking to cut into it as they run a little Kentucky set offense here. And that one looked like it was tipped by Moore, but good rebound there for Freed Hardman. And Guanya King just couldn't come up with it there. As we're going to see some subs here in a minute for Freed Hardman. That one's going to be off of the hands of Hunter Scurlock. As Martin will stay in, it'll be Zach Bauer, Alex Rush, Riley McLaren, and Dawson Bailey checking in for Freed Hardman. Miscommunication there. They feed inside. That shot is good. They feed, and pass is just a little overthrown. That shot by Horton is good. As head coach Drew Stutz will call a timeout after a 10-0 start here for life. We'll take a timeout with him. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lions have a 10-0 deficit here. So we'll see what Freed Hardman will do. They feed it out to Alex Rush. They feed it over to Martin. Martin for three. Bang! Right off of the timeout, Corlin Martin knocks down the first three points of the game for Freed Hardman. They feed inside. Knocked away by Rush. And we'll see what life will run here. They feed it out to Presnell. Freed Hartman can't get on the floor for it. And that shot, they're going to call a blocking foul. Foul will be on Dawson Bailey. It's just the first one committed by either team in this game. Chris Barnes will be shooting for life. And Chris Barnes, third on the team in free throw percentage as he misses that one at 78%. And Dawson Bailey able to come up with it. Corlin Martin going to get a screen here. Good roll off of it. 
And that one tipped away, but picked up by Bailey. And they feed it over to McLaren. McLaren looking. They feed it over to Bailey. And Bailey. A little contact underneath. Can't get it. Picked up by McLaren. Two on the shot clock. And that one gets the end one. Good hustle by McLaren. Able to get the end one foul. Foul is on Jordan Hernandez. That'll be his first. And only the team's first of the game. As McLaren gets that one to go, McLaren is second on this team in free throw percentage at 89. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 90 now. They feed inside. Knocked away by Rush. Bauer picks it up. Feeds over to Rush, over to McLaren. Feeds back inside to Rush. And that shot by Rush, it gets the basket. And the basket, they said the basket will count. Foul is on number 24, Nathan Presnell, the leading scorer on this live team. Alex Rush gets the second straight and one. And they're going to change that foul to number zero, Chris Barnes. That'll be his first rush. The shot is good. Lions nine to nothing run here. See what Freed Hardman can do on defense here. That one, good defense by the Freed Hardman team. And they feed over to the corner. Cam Horton goes out to Chris Barnes. Eight on the shot clock. Outside to Horton. Horton's shot is no good. Rebounded by Bailey. They feed over to Bauer. Bauer's going to take this one in. Feeds inside to Rush. And that one knocked away. A little contact there. but And, oh, they get the foul on Rush. Look, that's only the first one on Rush. Second one for Freed Hardman. As life runs a little box set offense here. They try to get Presnell open in the post. Not going to be able to get that. As this is number 12, Zach Stewart. And that shot, they're going to call it blocking foul. That's the second one on Rush. As Scarlock looks like he'll check back in here. That shot by Presnell is good. Substitution for free number three, Hunter Scurlock. And Presnell gets both of them to fall. As they'll be back in the press here. Feed it over to Bauer. Over to McLaren. Feed it over to Bailey. Over to Martin. Over to Bailey. Bailey thought about it. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Back over to Bailey. Over to Bauer. Over to McLaren. And a little contact. And that shot, no good, but picked up by – oh, they call it off Freed Hardman. And they're going to call a timeout. Not exactly sure what for, but – but it looks like Freed Hardman's going to go full court pressure here. As Horton tries to go sideline, can't get it. Good job by McLaren. 
and McLaren slows him down. And that shot blocked by Scurlock. That shot by Martin, no good. Rebounded by Scurlock. Over to Bauer. Bauer for three. No good. Rebounded by Zach Stewart. And Lions bench getting into it now. That shot by Horton is no good. Rebound by McLaren. Good box out. And feed over to Dawson Bailey. Bailey for three. Bang! Lions have now tied this game up. Now on a 12-2 run. They try to go inside. They force it. They feed it into Presnell, and he's able to get the basket. Martin goes over to Bauer. Bauer goes back over to Martin. Martin gets screened back over. And they get the foul on Presnell if that's the case. Now, that might be Presnell's third, or excuse me, second. Or excuse me, that'll be Presnell's first. As we'll get a media timeout, we'll take this one with them. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you're getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. At Lonnie Kyle Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Kyle Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lions down 12 to 14. But great comeback from where they were at, down 10 to nothing to start this game. And Lions now able to pull back within two and was able to tie it up just a minute ago. But Nathan Presnell got the basket. So Lions will feed it in. They get it out to Wanye King. Try to look inside, can't get it. One yet King for three. Bang! And Lions now have the lead by one. Have gone now on a 15 to four run since that 10 nothing run by life. And number one, Mason Barnes tries to get it in. They finally get it over to Zach Stewart. And they feed it over to number four. Shavis shot, no good. Rebounded by Freed Hardman off the, off the knee of Shavis. As now we'll see Jordan Hernandez check back in. Substitution for Life University number 11, Jordan Hernandez. And they go long to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane takes this one in. Shot by Lane. Rolls out. They feed over to Hernandez. And forces that away. Barnes takes this one in. Shot by Barnes. No good. Rebounded by Clark. As they hit it ahead to Skurlock. And they call the blocking foul. Foul's 
foul will be on number 12, Zach Stewart, his fourth uh, fourth team foul for life. That'll be the first one on Stewart. Skurlock's first one goes as Skurlock. The junior out of good pasture, or excuse me, the sophomore out of good pasture, gets both of them to fall as now it's 17 14 Freed Hardman. And they double team Mason Barnes. Go back in, they feed Trey Kelly. Trey Kelly's shot is good. Silas Clark goes long to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane takes it back out. They feed Skurlock. Skurlock back over to Clark. Clark over to Moore. Moore over to Lane. Lane get to get a, a screen right there. Clark's shot is good. Good drive in by Silas Clark. Able to get two more points here for Freed Hardman. And they go backside, but it's off of the back of Hunter Skurlock. They feed outside to Skurlock. Skurlock going to take this one in. And gets Barnes slipping, and he gets the basket. As we'll see Cam Horton check back in here in a minute. And tipped away again by Skurlock. They feed inside to Moore. Moore shot, no good. But they call a blocking foul as it didn't look like Barnes was able to get there in time. Either that or he was in the charge circle. John Moore will be shooting two. Moore will miss the first one. Cam Horton will check back in now. Moore gets one out of two to go as Lions lead by six. And that shot by Hernandez is good. Clark will take the ball up. They fade over to John Moore. Moore, screen over to King. And good fake out by Lane. Lane shot is no good. Rebounded by Moore. Moore shot that time is good. And Cam Horton takes that one in, but loses it. That shot is good by Zach Stewart. So now Lions lead by three. They go alongside the Guanye King. Feed over to Silas Clark. Silas Clark going to get screened by Skurlock. Over to John Moore. Over to King. King shot for three. Bang! Lions regain the lead by six. And we'll see what Freed Hartman will run here. And that one tipped away by Silas Clark. That shot by Horton, no good. Rebounded by Silas Clark over to Wanye King. Over to John Moore. John Moore's shot is good. Lions take a 29-21 lead now. Freed Hardman. Cam Horton's shot is good. And 
Head coach Kevin Easley will call a timeout for life, and we'll take this one with him. We'll be back here in 30 seconds on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And did see some substitutions come back in. As Cortland Martin. They get into McLaren. McLaren, one of those subs, so is Alex Rush and Dawson Bailey. They fade it over to Alex Rush. Alex Rush looking over to Cortland Martin. Martin for three. And off the side. And that shot by Barnes, no good. Rebound by Rush. Good ball handles by Wanye King. Over to McLaren, over to Rush. Rush thought about it, not going to do it. Over to Wanye King. Wanye King for three. Bang! Wanye King heating up now for Freed Hardman as he gives them an eight-point lead. And they try to go over to, that's Chavis, and took a little bit to get it to him. They hit Presnell. Presnell thinking about it, and Bailey can't get to it. And good defense here by the Lions. That shot by Presnell, no good. Rebound by Barnes. And they're going to say it was on the floor. And that'll be on number one, Wanya King. That'll be his first personal foul, first or fourth team foul of the game. And we're going to get a media timeout. We're the media, so we'll take a timeout with them. We'll take a break now on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas. Me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we're back here live on the FHU Sports Network. And Freed Hardman has taken an eight-point lead. Again, if you know someone that wasn't able to watch the game tonight, you can tell them to, that they will be archived on Worthy Road Studios' YouTube page. Uh, be sure to subscribe to Worthy Road Studios' YouTube page for notifications on any content that is posted by Worthy Road Studios and Mr. Paul Schulze, who is our director for this, or executive director. And the ball, be sure if you're on Facebook, subscribe to Ball Game Blitz, uh, West Tennessee's. Man, best there's a new salon in Jackson uh, race sports. clips on South Highland next door to. Ro and Freed Hardman able to get the ball Man, back there's in. A new but Man, there's friends, a new salon subscribe in Jackson to Ball Game Blitz race on clips Facebook on South Highland Studios YouTube page, and that shot they're going to get a charge on Dawson Bailey, or excuse, charge for Dawson Bailey. That'll be on Cam Horton. That'll be his first. That's the sixth one by Life. Next foul will put Freed Hardman in the bonus situation if it is not an offensive foul. Corlin Martin taking this one up. He's got seven seconds, and he gets it across. They feed it over to Dawson Bailey. Back over to Wanye King. Orland Martin, great offensive motion here. And he takes this one in. And that one's going to be taken off. And they say it was a walk. And looked like someone grabbed a hold of his hand, but I don't believe referee saw it. So life will get the ball back.
Good switch there by Martin and Bailey. Another good switch by Martin and McLaren. And that shot by Horton is no good. Rebounded by Cortland Martin. Over to Bailey. Bailey over to McLaren. McLaren feeds inside to Rush. Rush going to take this one in. Hook shot is good. Freed Harbin now leads by 10, 34-24. And they feed inside to Press now. Press now looking. Good switch defense here by the Lions. And that shot by Barnes is good. Martin will feed over to Rush. Rush for three. Oh, couldn't get it to go. And Cam Horton takes this one in. That's going to be tipped by Horton. Picked up by McLaren. McLaren for three. No good. Rebounded by number four, Chavis. And they feed over to Horton. Horton back over to Chavis. Chavis is going to take this one in. That shot by Chavis is good. Martin will take this one down. Going off of the full court pressure, just one man up in the front court. Warnia King feeds inside to Rush. Rush looking. And Rush's hook shot, no good as it's bounced off the side of the rim. Minute 27 left to go here in the first half. And they call a charge. As Freed Harmon will get a couple of subs here. John Moore, Gerardo Lane, and Hunter Skurlock check in for Alex Rush, Wanye King, and Dawson Bailey. So you got the starting five minus King plus McLaren. Gerardo Lane's going to take this one down the floor. Going to get pressured by Cam Horton. Feed over to Skurlock. Skurlock over to McLaren. McLaren looking. And feeds it over to John Moore. John Moore gets it over to Martin. Martin getting guarded by Barnes. Faded over to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane couldn't get it inside to McLaren. Good read on it by Barnes. As that shot is good, and they got the foul on John Moore. As live take cuts in this lead, they're now down by four. As looks like Kenny Pittman Jr. will check back in here or check in here for life. This believe it his first action of the game today. And that is as Chris Barnes will be at the line shooting one. Chris Barnes makes, converts the end one as they feed it into Martin. Martin gets it tipped into the hands of Pittman Jr. Oh, he goes over to Chavis. Chavis back over to Pittman Jr. and back over to Chavis again. Good switch off the screen there. And that one off of the side of the rim, but back into the hands of Pittman Jr. And not exactly sure what the – I know there was, go, there was a shot clock issue, but – there's going to be a timeout on the floor for life, and we'll try to get some information on this. Uh, we'll take a timeout here while we do that here on the FHE Sports Network. 
Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network. Still no uh, information on what happened there. The play was press nail attempted to pass to the right-hand corner, and it bounced off of the rim. And don't know the shot clock did reset. Don't know if that was supposed to happen or not. But there's 16 on the shot clock. Make sure a 15-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. As they go back outside to Horton. Horton for three, and no good. Rebounded by, and that shot by Presnell is good. There's five on the shot clock. Feeds it over to Skurlock. And Skurlock has got to shoot it. And shot is no good. As Free Hartman's going to go to the lead. Go into the locker room with the lead by one point. So we'll take a timeout here on the FHU Sports Network. We'll bring bring you halftime stats on Freed Hardman versus Life men's basketball action. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers. So when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, Trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop and get back out there. 
Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in in the warehouse. And I like my leadership team with the managers and supervisors. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, Trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop and get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. 
Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but close Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as the Lions have a 34-33 lead coming into the second half. For the halftime stats, Life was able to score 33 points in that, in that half, shooting 13 of 28 from the field at 46%, 4 of 8 from long range at 50%. Shooting 3 of 5 from the charity strike. And Freed Hardman has 34 points with 12 of 25 from the field at 48%. Shooting 5 of 12 at 41% from long range and 5 of 6 from the charity strike. And so for turnovers, Freed Hardman losing that battle 7 to 4, 7 turnovers to life's 4 turnovers. And life. Contributing off of that turnovers, 14 turnovers or 14 points off of the turnovers to Freed Hardman six. Freed Hardman winning the rebound in the battle, 13 to 12, two offensive and 11 defensive for Freed Hardman, four offensive, eight defensive for life. In the assist column, Freed Hardman leading by one, five to four. Also leading the blocks column by one at one to nothing. Steals column, life has that six to three, and we'll get to the individual stats. For life, Cam Horton leading the way, nine points, three rebounds. Chris Barnes, seven points, two rebounds, and an assist. Also three steals for Chris Barnes. And number 24, Nathan Press now. Someone told me my relative is now on screen. And you see over there, uh, that is my father talking to President David Shannon. And number 24, Nathan Presnell has six points, two rebounds. Also, Keonze Chavis, four points, four rebounds, and, and an assist and a steal. Jordan Hernandez, three points and one assist and one steal added to that. And then you have Zach Stewart, Trey Kelly have two each. Trey Kelly has one rebound and ha also has – also, one defensive. Mason Barnes, no points, but he has one foul. Tylen Green has no points, but one assist. And Kenny Pittman Jr. not able to get on the board here for life in the first half. For Freed Hardman, it has been Wanye King leading the way with nine points and an assist. Also have John Moore, five points, two rebounds, and a steal. You also have Alex Rush, five points, one rebound. Two assists and a steal. Hunter Scurlock, four points, three rebounds. And two assists out of that. Also a block and a steal for him. Corlin Martin, only three points, but able to con contribute with one rebound. Dawson Bailey, three points, has two rebounds. Riley McLaren, also three points, two rebounds. Silas Clark, two points, two rebounds. Gerard Lane not able to get on the scoreboard, and neither is Zach Bauer in that first half. So well balanced for Freed Hardman as they lead 34 to 33. We'll take another timeout here on the FHU Sports Network, and we'll be back with second half action live on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. 
Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And we're back live here on the FHU Sports Network. We're about ready to kick off second half action now. Lions will have the ball. And it'll be the original starting five, John Moore, Cortland Martin, Gerald Lane, Hunter Scurlock, Wanya King. And I believe same thing for life as Cam Horton, Chris Barnes, Nathan Presnell. And shot by Martin is blocked, but he is fouled. And Martin will beat the line shooting too. See who the foul was on. I couldn't see from up here. First shot by Martin is good. And we'll see Martin with the second shot. And gets the second one to fall as well. Lions lead by three. And Lions are going press here as they feed over Chris Barnes, able to get it to him. Good defense here by Freed Hardman. And that shot is good by Chris Barnes. Corey Warren feeds inside to John Moore. John Moore's shot is good. And they feed over to Jordan Hernandez. Jordan Hernandez looks, can't get it in. They feed back inside. They're in the corner to Horton. Horton's shot is good. And we're tied up now. They feed over to Gerardo Lane. Back to Hunter Scarlock. Scarlock will take this one in. Over to King. King for three. It's good. Four, 
Lions regain the lead back, 41-38. They can't get inside. They finally do get to Presnell. That shot is no good, but rebounded by Presnell again after. And they, they say the foul's on John Moore. That'll be John Moore's second foul, team's first. Presnell can, and he will convert the end one. Martin will get the ball. Feed over to Skurlock. Skurlock looks. Feeds it over to King. King looking. Over to Moore. Martin for three. No good. Rebounded by Life. And Life loses, the comp loses control of it. Into the corner for Cam Horton. Cam Horton's shot is good. And they find King. King's shot. Bang! And they call a flop warning. Believe a new rule in, input by the NAIA is now a flop warning as well as all over cross college basketball. Cam Horton goes under, and that shot is good. Foul is on number four, Geraldo Lane. As we get the floor cleaned up here. And finally get the floor cleaned up here as free or life will be at the line shooting one. And gets the and one to convert. Feeds it into Corlin Martin. 47-44 life now in the lead. Feed it over to John Moore. They feed inside to Skurlock. Skurlock goes in. And that shot no good, but little contact, no foul called. And that shot by Hernandez is good. They fade over to Wanya King. Wanya King over to Jordan or John Moore. Fouls on number 11, Jordan Hernandez. That'll be his third. Kenny Pittman Jr. will check in here for life. They fade it over to Wanya King. Wanya King tries to get inside. Can't get it. And John Moore able to get it in, and it's good. And head coach Drew Stutz will call a timeout. Try to get... His team under control as Lions down 50 to 46. We'll take a timeout here on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, 
Me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we're back here live on the FHU Sports Network as you see Rush, Boward, Bailey, and McLaren check in now. As the Lions down by four, they will go to, it looks like full court press here. And Lions looks like they're running a 2-3 zone here. And they call a charge on number four. That's on number four, Chavis. That'll be his first of the game. Martin going to get a screen from Rush. And that shot by Martin is good. Cut it down to two now. Cam Horton will take the ball up. Lions look like they're going full man now. As Presnell gets it, that shot is good. And looks like we're going to restore some order here. And McLaren will get the ball. They fade it over to Bauer. Bauer over to Martin. Martin looking. Fades it over to Rush. Rush going to hand it off to Bailey. And Bailey. Over to Bauer. Ten on the shot clock. And Bauer. They say it was a pushing foul. Foul is on number 40, Cam Horton. It'll be his second, team's fourth. Corlin Martin will inbound the ball here. Beats it into Bailey. Bailey wide open and gets it in. Cuts back, cuts the lead back to two now as Dawson Bailey gets his fifth point of the game. They feed it over to Chavis. Chavis is going to try to get a screen here. Knocked away, but it's off of, oh, they say it's off of Freed Hardman last. It's one of those 50-50 calls, always hard to make. They feed it outside to Chavis. Bard's going to take this one in. And that one, they're going to say it's all a foul on Bailey. Chris Barnes will be at the line shooting too. It's currently third on his team and as far as free throw percentage goes, he makes the first one. Gets the second one to fall as well as Life extends their lead back to four. Corlin Martin will take the ball. He gets it over to Bauer. Over to Bailey. Bailey for three. No good. Rebounded by. And they're going to say it was off of Alex Rush last. Uh, 
Chavis will take the ball. Gets it on the back cut to Pittman. And they're going to say it's a foul on Bailey as he got jumped. It'll be Bailey's third, fourth one by Freed Hardman. They feed it inside over to Chavis. Try to get it into press now. Can't get it over, but they feed it to Horton. Horton's shot is no good. Rebounded by Bailey. They feed it over to Martin. Martin looks, gives it to McLaren. McLaren takes this one in, and that's no good. Contact there, no call. That shot is good. They give it over to Bailey. Gives it over to Cortland Martin, over to McLaren. McLaren feeds it inside to Rush. Feeds it into Bauer. Outside. And they're going to say it's out of bounds on life. As Trey Kelly will check in here for Nathan Presnell. And they feed it outside to Rush. Over to McLaren. McLaren gives it over to Martin. Martin for three. Bang! And Lions now lead 56 to 53. Or excuse me, Lions down 56 53 now. A little longhorn set here as they try to get Kelly down open. They feed it out to Barnes. Barnes' shot is no good. Rolls out. Picked up by McLaren. McLaren for three. Bang! And just like that, Lions have tied it back up. And they feed over to number four. That's Chavis. Over to Trey Kelly. Trey Kelly looking to hand it off. Can't get it to hand off. They feed over to Pittman. Pittman's shot is good. And they give it over to Corlin Martin. Martin will try to take it up. As we'll see a whole platoon substitution here in just a little bit. Feed it over to Rush. Rush over to McLaren. McLaren gets a good screen. Can't get, it in, can't get in. McLaren is being guarded very tightly here as Rush gets it. Rush the shot. It's blocked and no foul call. Over to Pittman. Pittman fakes him out. Fake uh, goes over outside. And that shot by Chavis. No, no shot. And that shot by Chavis is no good. Rebounded by Martin. Feed it over to Bauer. And outside to McLaren, over to Bailey. Bailey for three. Bang! Tie it back up now. 59, 59. Lions and running Eagles are tied. They feed it inside. Rush is going to get called for the foul. As Skurlock, Lane, Clark, King, and Moore will check in here. As we're going to get a media timeout, we'll take it with them. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lions and Running Eagles are tied at 59. Lions 3-1 and one in the conference. Life is 0-4 looking to break the six-game losing streak and win their first conference game of the year. The 
been a highly competitive game, as told by Coach Stutz in uh, our halftime interview. Uh, he said this would be a competitive game, and it has proven to be so. As number four, Chavis will inbound. They feed inside out to the high post. And they go inside to Hernandez. Hernandez gets Wanya King for the foul. And Hernandez converts the end one. That's only the second foul by Wanya King. But now life is in the bonus situation from here on out. That shot by King. No good. Rebounded by Trey Kelly. And we'll see what life runs here as they are up by three. They feed over to Hernandez. Feed over to Horton. They feed. They couldn't get Hernandez inside as it bounces over his head. So Lions will gain the ball back. We'll see what Freed Hardman will run here. As they feed it over to Lane. Lane back over to Moore. Moore going to feed it over to Clark. Feeds it inside to John Moore. Moore's shot is good. John Moore now 11 points on the game tonight. As Cam Horton going to take this to the basket. That shot is no good. Rebounded by Gerardo Lane. And feeds it into Clark. Over to Scurlock. Inside to Moore. Moore going to take this one in. Moore shot. No good. Rebounded by Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane put up. No good. And picked up by Scurlock. Scurlock shot gets the end one. Way to stay with it for the Lions as now Lions take a one point lead 63 to 62 as we're going to see Presnell check back in that's the first foul on Trey Kelly Skurlock will convert the end one Lions have a two point lead now with 920 left to go in this game And Clark gets on it and couldn't get the basket or couldn't get the basketball. Gerardo Lane, good switch by Clark and Lane. They feed out to Pittman. Pittman's shot is no good. Rebounded by Gerardo Lane. And Lane's shot, no good. Rebound by Skurlock. Skurlock gets the basket. Lions on a run here, 66-62, and they force a turnover. And we're going to see Cam Horton and Chavis check back in here for Barnes. Or excuse me, that was just Horton checking in. Chavis was already in. Lions have a four-point lead. Going to look to try to build on it. They lead 66-62. Gerardo Lane goes back out to John Moore, back over to Silas Clark. He feeds it over Gerardo. Gerardo over to Wanye. There's 10 on the shot clock. And they call a blocking foul. Fouls on number four, Keonze Chavis. And they're going to assess a technical here to number four, Keonze Chavis. That's going to be the first technical on Keonze Chavis. And Lions are going to get two free free throws here. Looks like Wanya King will be the one shooting them as Wanya King 
100% from the line this year. And gets the first one to fall. Second one goes as well. Lions now have a 68 to 62 lead. Freed Hartman will be in the bonus situation from here on out. One yet Kings three. Bang! Lions now a nine point lead have gone a big run here in the second half. They feed into Press now. Press now gonna try to take this one. Can't get it. Over to Hernandez in the corner. Hernandez makes the shot. They fade over to Wanye. Wanye going to try to take this one in. Can't get it. Fade out to Skurlock with 15 on the shot clock. More shot. No good. And they call the foul. And Moore will get two attempts at it as he is one of two from the line tonight. Already 11 points. And we'll see Bailey, Martin, McLaren, and Rush check in here. Moore's first one is good. Now make that 12 for John Moore on the night. So Martin, Bailey, and McLaren will check in now for Skurlock and Clark. And Wanya King will check out. As he's already got 20 points tonight. What a night for Wanya King. Six of eight from the field, two of two from the charity strike. And Moore gets both of them to go as Alex Rush will check in here for John Moore. Give John Moore a break. What a game by him at 12 points. And they try to go bullet pass over to Kenny Pittman Jr. Not able to get it to him, though. As Coach Easley will call a timeout, I'll tell you what, we'll take this one with him. And we'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network. Lions have a eight-point lead, 73-65. They feed it over to Alex Rush. Rush gives it over to Bailey. And, oh, they caught Bailey on the walk. Looked like Bailey had it for a minute, but unfortunately that pivot foot just, just moved over. And they feed it over to Hernandez. Hernandez gives it over to Pittman Jr. Pittman Jr. for three. No good. Rebound by Presnell. And they're going to get a foul on someone. I, I didn't see who the number was. Foul is on number 13, Riley McLaren. That's just McLaren's first of the game. As Presnell gets the first one to fall, cuts the lead to seven now. Oh, 
Presnell gets the second one to fall as well. 12 points for Presnell as they fade into Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane will try to take it up the floor. And he gets it across half court. Lane's going to take this one all the way and can't get it to fall. And no call on the, on the play. And they feed inside. Martin steals it away, though. Martin for three. Bang! Make that 13 points for Cortland Martin on the day. And a little separation between Horton and Rush. And that shot is good. As Chavis will check back in now for life. Kenny Pittman Jr. will check out. And that is missed. And they're going to call over the back on Fernandez. If that's the case, that will be only be Fernandez's part, uh, fourth foul. And that will be the tenth team foul assessed to life. And Dawson Bailey will be at the line shooting too. So now any foul on life that is not an offensive foul, will be shooting shooting two fouls now as Freed Hardman. Dawson Bailey will make the first one. Bailey now at eight, or excuse me, nine. And Bailey can't get the, get the second one to fall. And they go long to Pittman Jr. And Pittman Jr. will call a timeout. Life now, two timeouts left, so we'll take this one with them as well. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookums, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network. Reed Hardman leads 77 to 69. What a strong five minutes it has been for Freed Hardman. Now outscoring live 43 to 36 just in this half. So we'll see what Freed Hardman will do coming out of the timeout by life. Life will have it over by the scores table over where our PA announcer, Mr. Matt Barker, is. And they feed out to Cam Horton. And they try to go backside, but good defense by McLaren prohibits that. Eight on the shot clock. Make that five. And that shot is going to be blocked by Gerardo Lane, but they're going to get the foul on someone. Not sure who that was. Looked like Lane might have jammed his finger on that one. That'll be Geraldo's second personal foul. And 
Barnes will miss the first one. And it gets the second one to go, though. Seven-point lead for Freed. Five minutes left to go. Still a lot of time here. Gerardo will take this up the floor. And they feed it over to Alex Rush. Alex Rush going to hand it off to Cortland Martin. Martin for three. And gets the end one. Three-pointer. The foul is on number 24, Nathan Presnell. That'll be his third of the game. And Martin will be at the line trying to convert the four-point play. This might be the first one we have here inside the Brewer Sports Center all year. And... And we get a media timeout. A little confusion what was going on there. We'll take this media timeout with them. We'll be back here in 30 seconds on the FHE Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as Lions lead 80 to 70. Cortland Martin will be at the line attempting to convert the old, the well, the only way I guess now you can, can get a four-point play. And if that's the case, this might be the first one all year we've had inside of the Brewer Sports Center. And first chance we'll have to convert a four-point play. So Lions will – so you have Alex Rush and Dawson Bailey in the back. McLaren and Lane will be at the free throw hashes attempting for the rebound. And Martin converts the four-point play. 17 points for Corlin Martin tonight as it's 81-70. to 70. So they go 2-2-1 two, two, here. Excuse me, no, this is man-to-man. -man. And that shot by Horton. No good, rebound by Lane. And they get the foul on Presnell. As Presnell will pick up his fourth. Or excuse me, no, that'll be Presnell's fifth. Or excuse me, that's his. Now they have that as Presnell's fourth. So Lane makes the first one. So number 11, Jordan Fernandez will check in. And so number 30, Trey Kelly. As I have Nathan Presnell at five fouls, that might not be correct. We do have to go with what the official scoreboard says. McLaren gets that rebound, though. McLaren's shot is good. Good rebound by McLaren. Good put up as it's now 84-70, to Freed Hardman. And they feed inside to Kelly. Back over to Chavis. Chavis, the shot by Fernandez is good. And they feed out to McLaren, and it's going to be off of life.
So we'll see what Freed Hardman runs here as we try to retrieve the ball from the corner. They feed into Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane going to get double teamed here. And they feed over to Corlin Martin. Corlin Martin going to also get a double team here. As they feed out to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane going to take this one in. And that shot, no good. Rebound by Rush. And that shot by Rush is good. Great job of breaking the double team there as it's handed over to Chavis. Good defense here by Freed Hardman. As Trey Kelly gets it. Trey Kelly shot no good. Rebounded by Riley McLaren. And good pass over to Dawson Bailey. Over to McLaren. McLaren over to Lane. Lane for three. No good. Rebounded by Rush. Over to Bailey. Bailey shot is good and he gets the end one. Make that now 11 points for Dawson Bailey. As we're going to get a timeout here. And life will call a timeout. We'll take it with them. We'll be back here on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network as the Lions up 88-73. to Did get something confirmed. Press now only four fouls now. Uh, we did have them at five, but uh, our official scorebook keeper, Mr. Ray Pack, has only got them at four. Well-balanced game here for Freed Hardman today as they've done a really great job on the boards, on shooting. Been an overall great day here for Freed Hardman. As Dawson Bailey will be at the line for one shot, going to try to convert the end one. Right now, four players in double digits here for Freed Hardman. And make that 12 for Bailey. As John Moore will check in. John Moore, one of those double digit scores. As Barnes will. Take it down. Over to Presnell. Over to Horton. Horton for three is good. They feed over to Lane. And Lane's just going to have Horton on him. Feed it over to Scurlock. Scurlock over to King. King going to try to take this one. Bring it back out. Over to Martin. Martin going to take it back. Inside to Moore. Moore is going to get fouled. Moore will be shooting two. John Moore at 13 points on the day. That's the fourth foul on Chris Barnes. Moore misses the first one. That makes the Lions now 16 of 20 from the line tonight. Make that 17 of 21. And we'll see what life will try to do here with 2.49 left to go in this game. If they're going to get any 
have any chance of getting back in this game, they'll have to score on every drive here from here on out. They feed it over to Savis, over to Horton. Horton steps back for three. That shot no good. And they're going to call a flop on number 40, Cam Horton. And apparently it is a technical foul. I believe the flop warning is assessed to both teams when the first warning is assessed. So Martin will have a one-shot technical foul. And gets it to go. So Kenny Pittman Jr. will check in here for Cam Horton. And they fade over to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane takes it back out. Scurlock hands off to Martin. They feed into Scurlock and it's going to be kicked by Chavis. So Scurlock will inbound the ball. 15 point lead here for Freed Hardman. 2.17 left to go. And they feed over in the backcourt to Martin. Martin for three. Bang! Corlin Martin now has 21 on the day. That makes two players for Freed Hardman at 20 points. And that shot is good by Hernandez. And Corlin Martin will inbound the ball down. Feeds it over to Scurlock, over to Lane. Lane, looking inside, can't get it. Over to John Moore. Martin will get it. Over to Scurlock, inside to John Moore. John Moore's shot is good. And now Lions lead 96 to 79. And they're going to call a walk. They feed over to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane. Feeds it into Scurlock. Scurlock will take this one in. Scurlock shot is good. Now make that five players for Freed Harvin in double digit figures. And that shot by Pittman Jr. is no good. Rebounded by King. King will take this one in to Gerardo Lane. Gerardo Lane shot, no good. Rebounded by Life. They fit in to Presnell. And Presnell slams that one home. And now shot clock is going to be dead. And it looks like Martin's going to hold it. And Lions will now win their third straight game. Moves them now to four and one in the conference. And so Freed Hardman now moves to nine and three overall. And again, like we said, four and one in the conference. We're now winners of three straight life, three and seven, oh and five in conference play, now losers of seven straight.
We'll take a time out here on the FHE Sports Network, and we'll be back with post stats, and we'll wrap this thing up. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson Race Clips on South Highland next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Oh. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. And we're back here on the FHU Sports Network. Lions able to pick up a 98-81 to win here in the Brewer Sports Center tonight. For Freed Hardman, shot 33 of 58 from the field at 56%, 14-25 from long range at 56%. And from free throw range, they were 18, or from the charity strike, 18 of 22 at 81%. Life, 81 points on the night, 29 of 54 at 53%. Shot 12 of 22 from long range. And that was at 54% as well. And then 11 of 15 from the charity strike, equaling up to 73%. Freed Hardman wins the turnover battle, not only allowing eight turnovers to life's nine. They also won the points off of the turnover battles, 18, turn, or 18 points to 16 points. Freed Hardman also won in the rebounding battle, 26 to 22 for Freed Hardman, 19 defensive, 7 offensive for life, 16 defensive, 6 offensive. Freed Hardman winning the assist battle by 1, 14 to 13. Blocks were dead even at 1. The steals, life wins that one 6 to 4, and life committed 19 fouls in the game to Freed Hardman's 14. As far as player stats go, for life, get to the stats here. For life, it was Chris Barnes leading the way with 19 points while tallying five rebounds and three assists and three steals. Jordan Hernandez, 18 points, one rebound, two assists. And then you had Cam Horton, 18 points, three rebounds, and one assist. Nathan Presnell rounded up the double-digit scoring, 15 points, six rebounds, two assists, and one steal added to that. Beyond that, it was Keonze Chavis with four points, four rebounds, and four assists. Kenny Pittman Jr. only three points and a block. Zach Stewart, two points. And then Trey Kelly, two points, three rebounds. Mason Barnes came in, uh, only got two turnovers and a foul. Tylen Green only had one assist in tonight's game for life. For Freed Hardman. It was Cortland Martin leading the way, 21 points, two rebounds, one assist, and one steal. Wanye King was behind him with 20 points and also got a rebound and an assist. John Moore, 16 points, two rebounds, and one steal on the night. Dawson Bailey behind him, 12 points, three rebounds. Hunter Skurlock was behind him at 11 points. That rounds up the double-digit scoring for, for Freed Hardman. Skurlock had 11, 5. And four was also with also one block and a steal. And behind him was Riley McLaren, eight points, five rebounds, and two assists. Alex Rush, seven points, two rebounds, and three assists. Also tallying one steal. And then Silas Clark able to come in, two points, two rebounds, and an assist. And then Gerardo Lane rounds up the scoring with one point, four rebounds, and two assists. And Zach Bauer also playing some key minutes in tonight's game. 
So Freed Hardman wins this one 98-81. to They'll be back in action this Saturday as they go to UT Southern play the Firehawks in an in-state rival matchup. And that'll also be the sixth conference game for Freed Hardman on the year. For the Lady Lions, uh, this game this Saturday was uh, postponed due to health and safety reasons between in the UT Southern program. So they'll be playing December 31st on New Year's Eve. Uh, time will be on the go uh, FHULions.com website. A reminder, if you were not able to watch, or if you know someone that wasn't able to watch the game tonight, they will be archived later on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe to the Worthy Road Studios YouTube page and also be sure to subscribe to the Ball Game Blitz on Facebook for all of your West Tennessee sports needs. So that basically wraps things up. Uh, we'll get over to our uh, uh, who we need to thank for tonight's game. Well, this program was directed by Summer Sturgis, uh, our announcer. Uh, play-by-play announcer was myself, Michael Mullinex. On the cameras was Mr. Gary Lockhart, and not only that, our executive producer, Mr. Paul Schulze, worked double duty, not executive producer and camera. Reminder that this broadcast is copyrighted by Worthy Road Studios. Any rebroadcast, reuse, or retransmission without the express written consent of Worthy Road Studios is highly prohibited. And with that, we'll wrap things up here by saying we thank you for joining us this time. We hope to see you again next time. And for that, we say good night from Freed Hardman University.